go back out there live and talk with Yona Gavino, who talked with people who live nearby. Yona? Charles, good evening. Anytime you see twisted metal, it looks really bad. Earlier, I spoke to some people who live nearby. They were worried when they saw the scene, but luckily, no one was hurt. Those living in rural Caledonia are used to the trains. Before they go across the bridge, you know, they, they sound their whistles or they cross an intersection. But they've never seen a derailment, especially one of this size. Steve Snyder was feeding the exotic animals at Jodon Farms. The scene is less than a quarter mile down the road. I saw the helicopters. Uh, there's helicopters back there right now, but that's about it. Uh, they have a uh, five mile road blocked off and they have just emergency vehicles. Because the derailment happened in a pretty rural area and so early in the morning, not a lot of people saw it. They only found out after it already happened. Like Christopher Bean, a friend came over and told him what happened. I was like, are you serious? Because I didn't hear anything. And usually we hear the trains come by. Now there's a lot more activity than he's used to. That kind of poked my head out over. I never really got too close to it. I know there's a lot of people that got to go through. Good thing it's not a work day, too, you know. Be a lot of late people. And traffic is being diverted because of all the heavy equipment that's here. The battalion chief tells me emergency vehicles can come from the west to get here, but most of the houses on the east side will be pretty easy for them to get to. Live in Caledonia, Yona Gavino, today's TMJ4. Yep.